punch four equidistant holes in the bottom of the skirt assembly, just outside of the combustion chamber rim. Cut four spacer tubes to the proper length to ensure that the head of the bolt is exactly the measurement for gap B above the inside bottom of the skirt assembly. Secure the four bolts and spacers into place. With the pot upside down on the ground, place the main barrel over the pot and lower the skirt assembly onto the pot so that the pot is snug against the spacer bolts at the bottom of the skirt assembly. Measure the distance from the rim of the skirt assembly to the rim of the main barrel. Using this measurement, subtract 3 centimeters and measure down from the rim on the outside of the main barrel and make a mark. Remove the skirt assembly and flip the main barrel and pot upright. Make three equidistant holes around the outside of the barrel at the previously determined height. Make three corresponding equidistant holes three centimeters below the rim of the skirt assembly. Measure the inside of the barrel and subtract the calculated diameter of the skirt. Divide the result by two and use the resulting measurement to cut three spacer tubes of this length. Place the skirt assembly inside of the main barrel and install long bolts using the spacer tubes in between the skirt assembly and the main barrel. Secure these into place. Punch three equidistant holes in the sides of the skirt assembly five centimeters above the bottom. Place enough flat washers under the bolt head so that it protrudes the measurement of gap D from the inside of the skirt. Secure these bolts into place. These bolts are used to ensure correct placement of the cooking pot in the stove. They do not go all of the way through to the outer barrel.